Oh, there you go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna go do some striper fishing over here at the California Aqueduct. Uh, yeah, let's hope we catch some fish. Let's not waste any time. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't so I could take you fishing with me. Let's do it. All right, guys, so before we get started, let me show you what we're using. We're gonna be using nothing but jerk bait, and all we're looking for is just anything that crosses over the California Aqueduct. Uh, for example, like pipeline, bridge, anything that crosses over, because that's where we can locate the striper, and that's where the striper is gonna be at. So, uh, yeah, let's try it out. There you go. Haven't been here for, I'd say about two months now. You got one? Oh, you got a, you got a bass? <laughs> Guys, that's what we came for. Right I can't eat jerk bait. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so the water's moving from right to left so when we come out here uh, i like to stay on the right side that's because i'm imagining the fish staying on this side right here as the water is flowing this way the fish will be right behind this this bridge right here and um, the fish will be here waiting for whatever that they could ambush I don't know about the folks that comes in here and fish here, but most of the time when I get a bite, it's usually right off the drop. Right when, right when your lure hits the water, uh, that's usually when the bite happens. I've caught a lot of fish here with the jerk bait and that's usually how it is. For some reason, they only bite the first, I say about the first three jerk. That's usually when it hits. Oh, there you go. I got one. Oh, yep. Right off the drop, just like how I said. <laughs> Small one though. Ugh. It looks like a bass. Oh, nope. I got a little cute striper. <laughs> right on the side. Beautiful fish. Right there. Usually when I come out here, um, the bite will be slow, but every time you get a bite, it'll be over 18 inch. Uh, so it's kind of weird, but we're gonna try to figure out these fish. Let's do it. guys so we've been at this first spot for about 15 minutes the, the way I like to fish these aqueduct is I like to move a lot because I feel like your chances of catching your limit 
won't be as high as moving from bridges to bridges or moving to anything that crosses over the aqueduct so uh yeah let's hope let's hope we catch our limit Watch out for a rattlesnake when you're out here. Uh, I've bumped into a few rattlesnake in the past. The biggest one I've seen is probably, I say about 15, I say about like 13 pound. And 13 pound for a rattlesnake, that's pretty big. It looks pretty, looks nice and calm. You got one? Oh, yo. <laughs> oh, my brother got one. Hold on. What happened? Pretty big or what? I missed it once and I it. <laughs> pull it out before it gets loose. Yep, pull it out. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> I say about, that's about what? 21, 21 inch, 20, 20 inch. Right here guys, beautiful fish. All right guys, so we're guessing the fish is about 20 inch. Let's check it out. Yes sir, yep, 20 inch, it's right on about 20 inch. Right there, 20 inch, right on the dot. Lucky guess, 20 inch. That's what we came here for. All right, so it looks like my brother caught it with a yellowish, uh, yellowish white color. It's a ghost, ghost jerk bait. That's how it looks like. KVD jerk bait. One of my favorite jerk bait. Oh no, right on top of the seaweed. That sucks. I probably spooked the fish by doing that. What a dumb move. They're striking it. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> dude, they're hella striking it, dude. It looks like a it looks like a bass. Alright guys, so uh, looks like our luck is done here. Uh, yeah, so it's been a good day so far. We got one keeper. We're expecting more, but one is good enough, isn't it? Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.